Hello, welcome to Double Team's second video channel. Uh, we are just about to do our evening show on Saturday, so this is the last show of the week. And uh, it's been a good week, it's been a long week. Very long. Yeah. Hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but good fun. Yeah. Um, we are, like we said last week, in the middle of understudy runs, and we're doing a lot of mixing in teams this week. Uh, predominantly doing Act 2 as it is, um, and also Act 1 as it is on separate days. So we could really, really work uh, closely with other other upper tiers in horse. Um, we have a system at the show that uh, we have four teams. Uh, we have a double team, which is us. Uh, we have a duo team that also do Joey and Top Thorn, and we also have two teams that can do just Joey and just Top Thorn. So uh, when was it? On Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday evening, we were mixing in a show. That meant that they needed a top thorn heart, which JT can do mm. because we're a double team. So he was helping out in the in the top thorn team. Yeah, yes. in the in the top thorn team. That meant we needed a new heart because we, we were on his Joey. So we got the Joey team's Joey heart, which is Chris Milford. So Matt and I were working with Chris, and JT was working with Sam Wilmot and uh, Adrian Christopher, who are yes. dedicated to just doing top thorn. Uh, which is great because Sam Wilmot has been in the show for two years uh, yes. as Joey Hind and is this year just doing Top Thorn Hind. So I've never been able to work with him before, so it was great to work with him. And it was very weird being in show, <laughs> seeing these two in Joey and I was in Top Thorn. It was quite strange. And I found myself at one point um, responding to a noise that Marcus did. <laughs> yes, yeah. even though it's a different horse. <laughs> it's a different horse. But, um, it's yeah. a good challenge mixing. Because yeah. you're forced into, uh, we as puppeteers have, have to listen really intensely to each other to pick up on our cues. But when you're with a team that you don't usually work with, your listening is heightened even more yeah. because you have to be in the moment with the other people. And so it's a, a great challenge in that respect that you're, you're learning new things and getting to yeah. play. Because after a while, you know how your heart reacts or your hind. Mm -hmm. and the other way around and then you you just know what the other one wants or how the other one will react when you when you have an impulse or offer an impulse mm -hmm. and if you suddenly have a new heart in the middle mm -hmm. that's just really interesting because you never know if Matt will pick up on it or if I will or he picks up on it and I don't and then this is very just strange it's a very strange kind of three-way uh, relationship that you develop uh, over the time that you're rehearsing together um, because you, as Marcus says, you have a very specific physical way of working together um, to make the puppet come alive but also your emotional role individually is uh, very important for the other two, two puppeteers uh, so you're all dependent on each other as they are all dependent on, on you as well so that's why this whole three person puppet works very well because it's not, you know, just about you. It's you making, you know, your job uh, as full out as you can, so the other two guys can do their job as as easy and as efficiently as possible. Yeah. So that was our week uh, mixing with different teams. We're going to have a well-earned rest tomorrow and see what week number. What week number are we on now? Six, seven, six, seven, seven. seven see what week seven brings. Yeah. Yeah. See you soon. See ya. Bye.